Right, it's Sunday, the 11th of August, 2013. I'm the artist taxi driver. This, my friends, is the BBC Sucks a Cox News. You ain't even going to believe you. Some of the news today, yeah, it's just, it's just like, it's just like, top the, the, your break, you're, you're on the fucking, you, what? Ian Duncan Smith, the man, the man who has, who has berated the, 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 some of the most vulnerable people in our society, who, who, has, who has made them commit suicide, who has destituted them, put them into fucking poverty, destroyed their lives, sanctioning workfare, like making people with cancer go and work for, 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 for Tesco's under threat of sanction, the bedroom tax, the fucking, this man, this man is fucking, he is a vile, despicable human being. And he's a minister. And after all that, do you know, I've just found out that he has, he has claimed taxpayers' money for his underpants. You what? Ian Duncan Smith, uh, uh, his aide, Dr. Vanessa Grierson, a serious, she, she wrote to the Conservative Party central office that she, that she was concerned that Ian Duncan Smith was using taxpayers' money to pay for his, for his fucking jockeys, for his wife fronts, for his fucking, for his skimpy, his skimpy knickers. You what? You can't make that kind of shit up. Ian Duncan Smith has been... He doesn't see how, how, how the disabled and, 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 and children might need nappies. They, they, they can't claim for nappies, but he can claim for his underpants. Do you get that shit? She also complained that he was, he was claiming for a laundry, a mirror, haircuts. What? Haircut? What? Cut what? It's, it's true. It was so bad that, like, like this is this is the most revealing part of it. That when Ian Duncan Smith found out that she'd written the email, he fucking freaked. He threw a loon. He went fucking nuts. He was he was he 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 had a fucking fit. He had a fit, and he was he reduced he reduced his aid to tears. She was in tears because he told her to delete the email and never. Ever fucking mention it again. So you've got... He's... What? He's claiming for his underpants? Tory MP Ger Gerald Howarth, Howarth is, is a consultant to a payday loaner called Quick Quid. You... How can an MP be a consultant to a payday loaner? 1,734%. He gets 15 to 20 grand? Are you fucking joking? He's a consultant to, 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 to the fucking, to the people that want to see the poor. But who would borrow money to someone who hasn't got any? Only fucking vultures. Who would support that? These fucking MPs. The fucking top, they're, they're in bed with Mr. fucking Wonga. They, 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 they want, they want people to default on their debt, but they want to, they, they want the poorest people in our society to fucking pay for, for, for using a pound or 10 pounds. Do you actually know what it would be like to fucking need 10 pounds, to need one pound, to wake up in the morning and think, where, where can I find a pound? And these people wanna they 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 they, they wanna they wanna put people into debt into misery. Isn't that extraordinary that that's an MP? He put down in his in his uh uh, uh interests uh, I work for a company called CNU, which is a subsidiary, which just said he I'm a consultant for consumer credit. It's like it's appalling, it's shocking. They're like praying fucking they are like leeches. They are like fucking slugs, mate. They leave their fucking slime. They're sliming along. This is fucking. This isn't. This isn't fair. This isn't right. This is a fucking bankrupt, immoral fucking government. A bankrupt, immoral fucking houses of parliament. Claiming for underpants. Working for fucking quick quid. 
I read on a, on a, something else I didn't need. I didn't, in 1991 at the first Gulf War, did you know that MI5 rounded up Iraqi students and held them as prisoners of war? What? What? When? 1991, they just round them up and put them in. They interned them in an internment camp and just held them there. I had to let them go about a year later. They didn't have, it was like, what, what? Why didn't I never hear that? You ever seen an Iraqi on TV? Do you ever see like anything to do? You ever see like a? I said it before, like what, like when the soldiers were getting killed and how great and you know how how their, their their families were allowed to express their grief. Yesterday in Iraq, massive fuck off bombs all around Iraq. Sectarian violence, fucking cancer from depleted uranium. No one cares. No one remembers. No one even thinks, like, you look at fucking Tony Blair, the Labour Party. They'll always have that stain. They'll always have that fucking stain. That's not going to go away. But they're not, and they don't care as long as the fucking oil is still pumping out. Councils, councils are going to, the, the London fire cuts, council are going to are gonna seek a judicial review. They're going to take that fucking bonehead... Boris fucking Johnson, who wants to shut 10 fire stations in September and cut 552 firefighters, well, they're fighting fucking back. They're taking him to fucking court because 94% of the people said he didn't fucking want it. What a fucking democracy is that? They don't give a fuck. It's like fucking Jeremy Hunt coming out this morning saying, if, if they don't tow the line, then the fucking NHS is finished. You what? You're fucking finished, you dog, you fucking, you, you, you slut. I see him on the telly, he's got, the, but the BBC, they show him, he's got his fucking sleeves rolled up, Jeremy Hunt, he's in the hospital, he's got his, his tie tucked in his shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nodding like a fucking, fucking fucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll fucking, we'll get Sir Richard Branson in here. He's a fucking, he's a fucking, he's off his nuts, mate, Jeremy Hunt. He is he has blown up the fucking NHS. When I interviewed Max Kaiser the, yesterday, he said something really fucking chilling. When I said to him about, you know, what when's enough like moving the public to the private and about the war machine, about this whole fucking Do you know what he said? Really chilling. People are in the way. They don't give a fuck when people die. Ian Duncan Smith don't, Jeremy Hunt doesn't. Is it there's controlled demolition of the NHS? He's telling doctors, you gotta work 24 hours a day, you gotta be on call fucking seven days a week. We're cutting all the fucking we we we, we got cuts, we're sacking nurses, we're shutting hospitals. And the BBC, they just fucking spout that shit. City two, two city traders, JP Morgan Trace, city fucking gambling addicts from Chislehurst and Bromley and fucking Epping and, and Chiswick, they've They've blown four billion pound or something. I think it's four billion. They lost four billion. JP Morgan says, get these fuckers. This is what we've invented the laws for. Not for us, for these fucking nothing. If you lose, if you lose, you, 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 they don't give a f four billion pound. JP Morgan's the biggest fucking scam fuckers on the fucking planet, mate. In Japan, international news, Japan... They've just realised uh, after two years from uh, Fukushima that the, the uh, radioactive water has been leaking into the Pacific Ocean. And they said, well, we're going to shut it down. It's like, you know, we're going to... Two years later? You mean you've, late, you, you've let radioactive water leak into the fucking ocean for two fucking years? It's too late, you fucking fuckheads. It's already in there. Can you imagine? They don't give a... F who, 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 you know, it's about it's about shutting it down. It's like Shell in fucking Nigeria. It's like the war machine, the global fucking... It's like Ian Duncan Smith and his fucking pants. Can you imagine that monster claiming for his fucking underpants?